Welcome back to our research writing and presentation class. Today we're going to have a very tiny topic, but very important, and that's going to be the headings of your research writing paper, your thesis, the different sections, how do you write those, and dealing also with numbers. So let's go ahead and jump right in. And we can begin with the headings, and what we have is basically the APA recommends five possible formatting selections or possibilities for your headings. Now if we look over here in this section where we have an example, you can see that the first heading, second heading, third heading, fourth heading, fifth heading, what do I mean by this? This is not the parts of your paper. Rather, this is the possible levels of the outline you have. Now we're going to talk about making an outline in a separate video. But the point is, section one of your paper could have section 1.1, 1.2, 1.3, 1.4, right? And then it could have 1.1.1. So it could have these many levels. And when you write the headings for those levels, how many are possible? Well, APA is laying out five, but that's an awful lot. It's very rare that you would be actually using that many levels. Most of the time we would be using just the first few levels, level one, level two, maybe level three. In fact, in most of my papers, I'm just using one and two, and occasionally there's a three in there. So let's take a look at how you would write the headings for these. The first level heading, which is usually going to be the title of the paper, is going to be centered, boldface, uppercase, and lowercase headings. That is, you mix the uppercase and lowercase. The second level, which is usually going to be the different parts or sections, is going to be on the left margin. It's going to be bold. It's going to be uppercase and lowercase. That is, usually the first letters of the words will be uppercase, and then the others will be lowercase. Once you get down to the third level, we're going to have an indent, that little indent there. And you're going to use bold. It's going to be lowercase and it's going to be ending with a period. You see the period there? And then if you have a fourth level, that level is going to also be indented, and then the words are going to be italicized, that is at an angle, and it's going to be lowercase, and it's going to have that period at the end there. And if you had a fifth level, which is probably going over the top, I think, you're going to have the indent, the words are going to be italicized at an angle again. You're going to have the period at the end, but it's not going to be bold. It's going to be regular, so that's why it looks not so dark. So you can actually see here in this example, these examples are written the way they would look in the different levels. Let's take a look at how that actually works in a real example, and you can see the sections of my paper, method, results, discussion, and these sections here are going to be level one. So here that would be this level one. And then I have inside my method section, I have a sample and participant selection, and so this one here is going to be two. So this is level one, and this is level two. This is level two, assessment and measures. Inside level two, I have two topics I want to cover. So then these are going to be level three and level three. So inside my methodology, I have two big sections. The second big section has two sections inside of it. So level one, level two, two, and then three, three. See how that works? Let's look at the results section. So the results section is going to be level one. And inside the results section, I have two parts. I have a part on outcome, and I have a part on outcome of aggressive children. Oh, I see. So there's two, two outcomes. One outcome is inhibited children, and one outcome is aggressive children. That's a great way to break it up. Sometimes our studies will have part one, part two, and that'd be another way to, to divide up your results. 
in this part of inhibited, I also have three subsections. So these would be level three, level three, and level three. Why are they level three? Because level one, level two, they're inside of level two, so they're gonna be level three. And then when we're done, we come back to level two. If we look at this discussion example here, discussion is of course going to be level one. And then we've got one section, two section, three section, four sections. All of these are two, level two, level two, level two. And in fact, most of the time when you write your research paper, this is the way it's gonna be. You have a level one and a level two, a level two, a level two, a level two. It's only really in special cases that you're gonna have a level three or a level four or a level five because you're going more and more detailed inside of the section. Okay, so that's the uh, sections, the different parts. Remember one key point of the APA is that you do not have to have the title introduction for the beginning of your paper. So you have the title of the paper, and then after that you have the part where you just begin writing. That is the introduction section, but you do not need to have a title that says introduction. Now, the journal you're writing for, your professor, your school, your department may ask you that you should have a section called introduction. That would be level one. And then after that, you may have a part inside there that's literature review. So literature review would be level two.